We start with this story here. More than 95 people were given citations after a cockfighting derby was raided in Maynardville over the weekend. The incident has received nationwide attention from animal welfare groups and calls have been made for Tennessee lawmakers to worsen the punishment for those who engage in this type of activity. So WATE 600 side reporter Ella Wales talked with leaders who are trying to change the outcome for these offenses. County Sheriff's Department raided a cockfighting derby on Little Valley Road in Maynardville after receiving a tip and drone footage from the animal welfare group known as Shark, or showing animals respecting kindness. They're illegal everywhere, and so they put them in places where you can't see them from the road, and the, the drones just make it very, very easy to find out what's going on. That you know, We've just started opening up uh, our efforts in Tennessee because we've been getting information. So that's, that's not the only pit that we know about. The Union County Humane Society isn't far from where the raid happened, and Executive Director Tammy Rouse says cockfighting has been going on in the area for years. And this has got to stop in our county. It is inhumane, and it is a threat to other birds. Tennessee is one of only eight states that doesn't have felony-level penalties for cockfighting and treats the crime as a Class A misdemeanor. Wayne Paselli is the president of Animal Wellness Action and says lawmakers need to take action to stop the practice from happening. The people who staged this cockfighting derby on Saturday um, uh, in Maynardville essentially thought they were just going to get away with it because Tennessee's law is so weak. State Senator John Lundberg filed a bill that would make cockfighting activities a felony offense in the state and says that with cockfighting comes other illegal activities. You want to gamble. If you want to gamble, you're probably going to be drinking or doing drugs. And people are bringing their kids. In the recent one, there are three juveniles that were there. The bill has been filed in both the House and the Senate. It'd make it more than just a $50 fine and, and go home. You would face jail time. And that's really an important detriment for this activity. A hearing for those accused of cockfighting in the incident this past weekend will be held on March 2nd. Reporting in Union County, Ella Wales, WATE 6 on your side. Ella, thank you. Now, Senator Lundberg is also working with State Representative Sam Whitson on the bill who filed it in the House.